Hello dear viewers and welcome to this edition of Kume News. In our top stories today, the saints in the headquarters church press forward in the preaching of the gospel and winning of souls. The evangelistic caravan, it is finished, held their 31st and 32nd campaigns in Bangui in Central African Republic. Those are the headlines. We'll be right back for the news in full. <music> The saints of the mega church at the base in Kume, praising the Lord their King. Welcome to the third service of the month of March, a service that comes after the special celebration week. But as Jerome Yem Yem, in his coordination, led the saints to thank the Lord for the invaluable gift of salvation in Christ Jesus. Pastor Tawet started his message by saying that there is a mark that the Lord Jesus leaves on all who have come to him. He specified that his message is for those who have come to Christ. People were therefore paired for counseling session to make sure that all have genuinely come to Jesus. After this, all who came to Jesus were asked to stand up and 60 people came up. The prayer was then lifted up so that they know genuine conversion. Proceeding, the pastor echoed the words of the Lord. Let it be done to you according to your faith. He explained that what a person believes fashions him. Let it be done to you according to your faith. Let it be done to you according to your faith. You will receive what your faith wants. Your faith. It's a road, a pathway through which the power of God reaches you. Ta foi, your faith. It's the landing pathway of the power of God in your life and in the circumstances of your life. Knowing that faith comes from what you hear, the preacher exhorted the saints to filter what they hear and make sure they hear the word of God. He urged each one to be faithful in all the meetings of the week and spoke words of faith on them. He launched the altar call to water baptism and about 15 people answered positively. To crown the meeting, the first couple of the mega church was introduced. They were blessed during the celebration week. Prayers were also raised for the single to find a helper feed. A team of brethren from the center of Tigaza organized a series of evangelistic campaigns in Beto and its surroundings. The localities reached include Kano, Tigaza, Ndemna, Bulembe, Mbangu, and Kosovo, among others. As a result of these campaigns, 592 people were reached with the gospel, 312 people were converted, 36 people were baptized in water. Praise the Lord! The center of Tindamba held their second joint service of 2024 on the 25th of February. The service was coordinated by Pastor Franklin Dundu. He led the congregation to thank the Lord for his hand at work in our lives on a daily basis. Indeed, he has moved in the center and blessed them with great food as they gave themselves to the Great Commission. The preacher of the day, Pastor Joel Ngume, Base his message on Luke chapter 23 verses 39 to 43. He explained that there are two camps, two ways, two masters in the world, and each person on earth belongs either to one camp, one way, one master, or to another. There is no neutral person. However, it is the will of God that all men should choose the way of life through Jesus. As the altar call was launched, 37 people answered positively and 12 were baptized in water. To end the service, 
Pastor Polo Lighton, leader of the center, led the saints in intense moments of healing and blessings to face the month ahead victoriously. Praise the Lord. After the School of Knowing and Serving God session for national missionaries, the National Base in a Day welcomed a special seminar for ministers to children in the ministry in Cameroon. For five days, the leaders of the ministry to children at the provincial level and their assistants gathered around the world to improve their performance in taking care of the children who represent 60% of our overall goal. Pastor Jean de Dieu, a main speaker at the seminar, emphasized the fact that the ministry to children is a golden ministry. The ministry to children is a ministry d'or. The ministry to children is a golden ministry. Les enfants sont de l'or. Children are gold. Et nous avons le privilège. And we have the privilege d'être ceux-là qui to be those who coopère avec Dieu, cooperate with God pour le ministère le plus important de son royaume. For the most important ministry in his kingdom. Nous avons le privilège. We have the privilege. Tu as le privilège. You have the privilege. He commented that God has put in each child a special and sacred deposit. The Christian Missionary Fellowship International is an evidence of this. The deposit of God in Brother Zag is bearing much fruit today because, as a child, he was well guided. It is thus the responsibility of each minister to children to see each child as having a special deposit from God and to labor so that this bears fruit following the model of Brother Zag. Children should be taken seriously, he insisted, supporting these with some biblical examples, including King Joash, Jephthah, King Uzziah, Moses, who were all molded by their ministers to children. It is therefore urgent to sow Jesus in the heart of the children, given the target goal of 6 million children in Cameroon in Phase 3. To reach this goal, ministers to children should be or become makers of kings. The Lord moved again to save, heal, and deliver in Bangui during the 31st and 32nd campaigns of the caravan. It is finished. The campaigns were held on two sites. Throughout the six days, over 3,360 people heard the gospel. 782 were won for Christ, 259 genuine deliverances, and 154 instant healings were recorded. 79 backsliders were restored. 18 baptisms in water and 166 baptisms in the Holy Spirit were recorded as well. Besides, 11,330 tracts and 1,097 books were distributed. Throughout the six days, the evangelist Joseph Ngandu proclaimed the gospel to the people of Bangui. The heavy rain that fell was no obstacle to this proclamation of the glorious gospel of the Lord Jesus. The event was marked by prayer raised for the nation and a prayer walk for the nation on a distance of three kilometers. One of the outstanding miracles in the campaigns was a woman who left the wheelchair where she had been for four years, stood up and walked. After the program, the leaders embarked on a 40-day follow-up crusade to keep the harvest. Praise the Lord! Le dimanche 3 mars, nous allons donner 5 âmes. 5 âmes, je l'ai vu. Je suis la sœur de Santo Denise, à Salut et Roi, pourtant dans les deux âmes. Commitments taken by leaders in the zone of Yopugon in Abidjan in February during the first retreat with the leader of the zone, Pastor Innocent Lombe. After the retreat, the brethren set to work in evangelism in all forms, including the mass evangelism from 2nd to 3rd March with the aim to have 500 baptism. The operation was soaked in prayer by a 12-hour prayer chain held on 2nd of March 2024. The operation resulted in a festival of baptisms on 3rd March with over 140 people baptized in water despite the heavy rain. Pastor Innocent Lombe specified that this operation is a monthly appointment which subscribes to strategies put in place by the zone to reach their goal this year namely 10,000 disciples. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Gloire à Dieu. Et nous disons merci au Seigneur, nous prions que tous ces baptisés-là, 
soit systématiquement ajouté à notre nom, afin que nos effectifs puissent croître, parce que nous devons atteindre le but le plus rapidement possible. This brings us to the end of our news edition for today. For more updates, visit our YouTube channel RTVC English. Thanks for your kind attention and God bless you.